Hit the gym. Hit the gym, bro. Four to five times a week. Make sure your body's right. What's up, people? It's your boy, Andrew FAQ. Here with you with another video. I'm excited for this one. Let's go! Today, we're going to be discussing five things that will make 99% of women go out on a date with you. Let's get to the video. So tip number one is to not to come across as thirsty. Guys, listen. If you want a girl to go out on a date with you, stop pursuing it. Stop trying to get her to see you as a valuable person to go out on a date with. Guys nowadays are doing too much on the Instagram. Listen, I seen them messaging girls. I got guys saying, "Well, I messaged this girl. She's not responding to me. I'll ask her again. If you sent her a message and she hasn't responded, let it go. Stop trying to get her to go out on a date with you. You're making yourself look like you're desperate for a date. Listen, if you show that you don't need her, she's going to pursue you. If you keep pursuing her, messaging her, and she's left you on red, listen, you let that go. Move on to the next one. Why are you still trying to, like, get her to um, go on a date with you? What, what, what are you trying to do? You're making her seem like you're, you're less valuable. If you keep pursuing her, listen, there's times when if I was, I messaged a girl, if she hasn't read my message, I don't message her ever again. That is it, I cut it off. And if she comes back, she's getting aired. I don't, I don't play those games because if I give you my time and you don't give that time back, I'm not interested anymore because I know my worth. So if you're going to message a girl, she doesn't respond to you, let it go. Don't pursue her. Don't keep continue to pursue her. If a girl is interested in you, she's going to make herself available to you. She's not going to be making excuses and be like, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy. If she does that, be like, fine, cool. Let her go and carry on doing your thing. Because guess what? She's going to watch your stories. She's going to see your lifestyle. She's going to see what you're doing. And she'll be like, oh shit, this guy's actually somebody. Girls nowadays are flaking on guys left, right and center. Listen, when they do that, don't even carry on. Because guys, what they do is, when they flake, they carry on messaging the girl. Hey, did you get my last message? Hey, did you did you see my... Nah, listen. And the girls, what they do sometimes, they screenshot it and put it in the stories. Be like, this guy, this creep keeps messaging me. I've seen it. I'm like, gosh, guys. Stop doing it. Stop making these girls feel like they're so special. If you message her, she airs you, bye. Carry on doing your thing. Guess what? She's going to watch your story. She's going to watch your story and see you level up in life and be like, oh my days, this guy is different from the rest of them because there's too many guys giving this girl validation. Stop giving her validation, bro. And that's how you're not going to get a date. The first number one is not simp over female. Stop simping. Guys are simping in today's age and uh, it's annoying, bro. Stop simping on these chicks and focus on yourself. Tip number two is to have above average face. Listen, I mentioned this on my previous videos. You got to have a good skincare routine. You got to make sure your skin is flourishing, it's glowing. With me, I wash my skin at least twice a day. I exfoliate. I do daily washes. So make sure my skin is glowing. So when I on one of my Instagram doing live feeds or I am I'm doing stories, I want my skin to be glowing so the females can see that I like to look after myself. Me, I love myself too much. I like my I like to look good in every aspect in life. And you've got to be focusing how to get your skin glowing, how to make it shine. So when you are on your Instagram or you're on the road, people can see that you look after yourself. People can see that you take care of yourself. Self-care is very important, guys. It's not only for females. Some guys will be like, no, I want to look rough. No, that is back in the ancient days. In modern society, you've got to be looking after yourself. Forget what people say, oh, that's not masculine. Listen, being masculine is looking after your skin, your body, your health. That is also being masculine. So I don't nobody tell you about going to get your skin um, exfoliated and washing it. That is also a masculine trait. So make sure you're doing that on a daily basis. Wash your skin. Make sure your skin's glowing because you don't want to look ashy when you're on your profile. Girls see that straight away. This guy don't have to look after himself. You've got to make sure that his skin is glowing at all times. And that's what I've been preaching in my previous videos. Make sure your skin is glowing. Make sure you use the right products. And make sure you're doing that on a daily basis. Tip number three to getting girls to go out on a date with you is to look after your body. Body will increase sex appeal. Guys, I can't stress the importance of working on yourself. Listen, gains equals women. You've got to make sure you're getting gains. You're looking after your body. I'm telling you now, when, when you're, I'm out on the beach on a holiday and I'm getting the stairs, I know that I put in the work to look like this. I know there's 90% of guys don't look like me. I walk around, shades on, and I can see the eyes. I can see the looks. And I'll be like, yeah, 
I put in the work to look like this. When a woman's with a boyfriend, she's still staring with her shades on. I see it so many times. Sometimes I even smirk and give her a smile because, you know what? I like myself too. So when I see a girl doing that, it makes me smile and think, huh, your boyfriend ain't doing something right. You don't look like me. He's there eating Cheetos and chilling and, and you know what I mean? And you're telling him that, oh, it's okay, babe, relax with me. Nah, hit the gym. Hit the gym, bro, four to five times a week. Make sure your body's right. Me, I'm always trying to improve. I'm trying to get my body fat even lower and lower and lower so I can get shredded. I want to be shredded as f man. So when I walk in the beach, I am shredded as f you know what I'm saying? I want to look so shredded that when you see me, you're like, God damn it, this He knows how to look after himself. That's why I've been, I've been working on myself. I've been, the past couple months, I've been putting in more work, twice a day sometimes. My diet is increased. Make sure that your, your face is looking more slimmer, not looking all pudgy and like you're drinking alcohol. Listen, I cut down the alcohol as well, none of that nonsense. Make sure your body is getting looked after. The nutrition, you know, smoothies you're going to be putting in your body, you know. The nice the proteins you're going to be putting in your body so your body will flourish and you start to gain the gains. You start to see the muscle showing. This is what, what attracts women. Don't make them tell you, oh, I like the dad bod. It's bull. Listen, it's bull crap, all right? I'm telling you that from now because I've been out. I travel a lot, trust me. And what I do is, yeah, I, I, do, the, I, do, the, I do the loyalty test. I'm a guy who do the loyalty test. I put my shades on, I put oil on my body, and I walk through the beach. And I see girls with their partners, and they are staring. They've got their shades on, and they're giving them the side eye. I'm like, see? Your girl ain't loyal to you. She's checking me out. Guess what's going to happen now? She's going to go back to the room with you and make out with you, but think about me. Think about that in your head. She's going to go back to you, but you think about me. But the, the hot guy that walked past, shredded. So make sure you work on yourself and get shredded, man. Get shredded as all right? Put in the work, bruv. No more slacking in the gym. Get them gains, bruv. Because me, I am working on myself. I'm going to make sure that I am shredded. I don't care anymore. I'm going to make sure that I'm putting in the work every given time. So when my girl looks at me, or when another girl looks at me, she'll be like, that's the guy. Be the man. Don't be that guy that <laughs> your, girl, girl's getting, your girl's staring at another dude and thinking, I wish my girl was like this. Trust me, it's not a good feeling. Tip number four, and it's to have a masculine style. Guys, I can't stress the importance to adopt a masculine style. I see guys out here dressing like schoolboys. Listen, that is not the one. You're not gonna get a female dressing like a schoolboy. Make sure that you're buying tailored suits. Your suit is tailored to your body. It fits correctly in the right departments. Trust me now, when I see this now, yeah, when I go out and I'm picking my outfits, I gotta make sure that my body is fitted to the clothes, especially my upper body, because I wanna make sure that my muscles are filling out the suit. My chest it falls out the suit. It's not baggy, because when you when you got baggy clothing, it, it demasculates you. Automatically demasculates you. It looks like you got, got no you ain't got no chest. Girls like men with a big chest. So make sure your body is fitted to the suit. Make sure you adopt a nice masculine style, suits. Um, nice tailor suits that's um, trimmed to the arms. Um, the, the jeans are tapered. Make sure that is gonna it's gonna emphasize your body instead of it decreasing your value. It's gonna emphasize how you look. It's gonna make you look come more appealing to the opposite sex. Because women like a man that can dress well. I'm telling you now, me, I'm all about fitness, fashion, and lifestyle. Fashion is one of my main things. I love dressing to impress. Me, I just dress sometimes, even if I've been trying, and people are like, oh, you look nice. I'm like, this is what I look. This is natural for me. I like to wear my jackets fitted to me, my shirts fitted to me, so my body is showing and I'm glowing. I'm just looking like the man. Look different from the rest of the other guys. I'm guys are dressing up here wearing, listen, they're wearing some neck baggy trousers, yeah, like it's the 60s, looking crazy. I'm like, bro, that's not style, you're looking mad. Make sure your trousers is tapered to your legs. Not too tight, not too um, baggy, tapered. Your top tapered to your body. Make sure that you're getting the right size. Sometimes I'll even go a size lower just, just to show that the muscles is there. Because if you get a size bigger, it's gonna look baggy. You're not gonna look, you're not gonna look appealing to the opposite sex. Make sure that you're emphasizing your body, you're showing that you go to the gym, you're working out, so your body that you're working for is gonna show through your suit. Females, females are gonna see that and gonna be like, ooh, this man oozing the sex appeal, oozing with sex appeal. You're gonna look like the man, it's just Alba type of guy, you know what I mean? When you roll through, you're gonna be like, ooh. Look at that chocolate guy, you know? Oh, yeah, trust me, a woman like a chocolate and suit. And even if you're a white dude, bro, and you're doing the right thing as well, oh man, your, your world's your oyster. You just gotta make sure that you dress the right way, trust me. It doesn't matter what ethnicity you are. If you dress right, 
you're going to be pulling girls left, right and centre. Women are going to see you as, wow, this guy knows how to put himself together. He knows how to dress. His style is correct. Then you're going to get that date easily. Tip number five, guys, is to have a social proof online. Nowadays, it's not about the physical. Girls don't want to see what you are about online. What is your blueprints like? What's your social media like? Some guys are faking it on the media. They're looking, they're looking decent in, on, on, in person, but on social media, they're doing some next, next crazy shit. And that's when the woman starts to unfollow you and think this guy's a weirdo. Make sure your social proof is also matches your physical proof as well. Because now you got to be, you got to be good in person and also online. So if you check out the Instagrams that that are doing well, the ones that are verified, the fitness people that do nice professional photos, um, nice professional videos. That's going to make you stand up from the crowd. Don't be doing all these selfie uh, mirrors looking weird and all the time. It's looking a bit, a bit suspect, you know. You've got to make sure you're doing the right videos. If it's a workout video, make sure you get a professional phot photographer or you do it from your iPhone and get someone to do it for you. But make sure it, it enhances your look rather than decreases your look. Your Instagram's got to be on point. Like, I've seen people with verified accounts with 1K followers and two pictures. That's not going to allow you to get the female. They're going to be like, this guy's a fraud. Like, you got to make sure that your engagement is right. That's why I would say make sure that you build up a business where people can come to your page and see that you've got actually a, a viable product they want to follow. Like my Instagram, I promote fitness, lifestyle and fashion. So when you go on there, you're going to see that all about fitness, all about lifestyle. Like I like to travel a lot. My, my slogans, we jump. Because I like to talk about skipping, jumping around in different locations of the world. And that's when people are going to sort of gravitate towards that, that are into those type of things. Make sure that you build a brand that's going to allow you to stand out from the crowd because that's when females are going to come to your page and be like, this guy is actually the person say he, he says he is. Me, I've been building my, my page for three, four years now, solid, and now I've got a nice, good following that allows me to now build um, up an engagement. So people are now commenting and now getting involved in the likes and now you're able to start to see um, females coming into your page and be like wow this person is what he says he is so build up a social um, platform that's going to allow you to get the girl not to flake on you when it comes to date because you know that you're the real deal that's it guys five tips to help you get the date that you want 99.9% .9 of women will go on a date with you if you follow these five tips if you like this video click on the subscribe button Join the team. We're building up FAQ vlogs. We're coming in. Listen, join the team now because now is the best time to join us and you're going to see us level up even more. Till next time, people. Peace.